Hello and welcome to this review of Win Dixie Liquors Quality Guaranteed Genuine Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey Distilled in Kentucky. Win Dixie Liquors 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Now this was $15.99 when I bought it last year and it's on sale again for $15.99. Last time I checked the website, this huge bottle, $15.99 of Kentucky. Doesn't say straight bourbon. It says bourbon whiskey. Now why it's not called straight, I don't know because it says right here it's aged three years. So it's aged three years. It's distilled in Kentucky. And it's bottled by Wide World Importers, Frankfort, Kentucky. Aged three years bourbon. So it would seem to comply with the uh, requirements for straight, which only requires two years uh, aging. So that, that's a mystery. I can't explain that. Uh, Wide World Importers is a alias name for Buffalo Trace of Frankfort, Kentucky. So Buffalo Trace produces this for Winn-Dixie stores. It's a private label brand. You probably won't see this in Alabama because grocery stores can't sell liquor in Alabama. Mississippi, no. Louisiana, yes. Florida, yes, because in Florida they have Winn Dixie liquor stores, WD liquor stores. You know, dedicated stores. Here they, they just sell it on the shelf in the store. In a little gated area where you go in and the gate opens, obviously you're going to be recorded. And then the gate opens when you leave. But you can still go in there and pull it yourself. You don't have to uh, get somebody to pull it for you. It's got a wax seal on here or a mimic. It looks like a wax seal. It's really not. I know when dixie was founded in 1955. They may, have, they may have been doing private label for them back to 1955. Uh, I don't recall that this label has ever changed since I remember this 40 years ago. Uh, probably was in glass bottles though. They're going to the PET plastic poly what is it polyethyl polyethylene tetra whatever that PET stands for all right I'm not a chemist um so you might say that's an extremely cheap bourbon from Buffalo Trace and you would be extremely correct this is the first video review for this product in the world and I cannot find any written reviews for this, by the way, even though it's been around since I was probably, well, probably before I was born, really. Sazerac Buffalo Trace does a lot of private label stuff, man. They, they did a whole line of liquor for Cats and Best Off, um, that pharmacy chain that was bought by Rite Aid in 1998. So then those all disappeared, Cats and Best Off. And then, um, but it was all Sazerac. These are alias name for the, uh, they didn't say Sazerac on there, but there it is, K&B Vodka. <laughs> I bought this in 98 when I knew they were getting bought out. I went over there because uh, I thought this would be like a, it's got mold on it now from humidity. It's K&B, Cats and Best Off, Extra Dry Vodka. 100% grain neutral spirits bottled for Super Distributors Incorporated in Metairie, Louisiana by Quality Control Distilling Company, Bardstown, Kentucky. Actually, that's Heaven Hill. Okay, so, oh well, no big deal there because Heaven Hill does a lot of private label also, extra dry vodka. All right, so Heaven Hill did this one. Okay, interesting. So they're both making good money doing that. And Beam, James B. Beam Distilling in Kentucky, they probably do it too. Okay, but most of what we get around here is coming from a Buffalo Trace Sazerac, okay? Uh, I'm thinking of two different pharmacy chains that are operating right now in this town that handle that stuff or did handle it. Winn-Dixie bought by Aldi does it. Um, Rouse's, I don't know if that stuff they have is private label. It's obscure. That's from Buffalo Trace, Sazerac. Um, yeah, all right, so uh, 
There's a company in Auburndale, Florida that does a lot of private label. Um, it's called Florida Caribbean Distillers. Now, okay, one more thing before I do this review. Uh, all the bought Winn-Dixie in 2024, they've already converted or are, or are converting four Winn-Dixie stores in Louisiana over to Aldi. Uh, apparently, they were like the newspaper article. You never can totally rely on those things, but they were saying, well, if there's a town where there's no Aldi, we're going to convert it over to Aldi. But if there's a town where they have Winn-Dixie and Aldi, we'll just keep both because they need to be making money from both. So, uh, but they said they're going to keep a meaningful number of Winn-Dixie and Harvey's supermarkets in Florida, Georgia. That's where Harvey's is, Florida, Georgia. And then Winn-Dixie, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. A meaningful number. Now, I don't know what that means. Maybe one in each state. I don't know. Uh, maybe a lot. But we, the Winn-Dixie in this town has been here since 1958. So, I don't know how people would react to that. Okay. Um, and then also, um, Aldi doesn't sell liquor in the United States. as, Except through their Trader Joe's subsidiary. Trader Joe's in Metairie, Louisiana sells liquor. Uh, and some people speculated that the reason they bought Winn-Dixie all along was to get into the uh, liquor business. Because now they, Aldi does sell liquor through all their Winn-Dixie outlets. All Winn-Dixie sell liquor. I'm, I'm talking about Louisiana and Florida. WD Liquors in Florida. Winn-Dixie grocery stores here. Mississippi and Alabama, no, but they're more restrictive. Okay, so it does look like bourbon, you know, copper. Got some nice alcohol legs, the drips. Looks like regular bourbon. Like I say, it's gotten complex, co complexed, confounded about why it's not called straight bourbon. This is not the only time I've run into that trouble. Um, you say, well, it's because they're adding flavoring. No, but it would have to put bourbon with natural flavors. You can't just flavor bourbon without saying it. Definitely not allowed. So it's actually not allowed. You're not allowed to flavor bourbon. There's no such thing as flavor bourbon, but there is a, such a thing as bourbon with natural flavors. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Smells like, um, oh, and I, yeah, like I said, could find no written reviews, no video reviews for this product that's been around longer than probably most video reviewers. <sighs> smells like ethanol, you know, like grain alcohol, honestly. Am I picking up oak, charred oak, vanilla, and all of that? No, I'm not, really. Is it a bad aroma? It's not a bad aroma. It's just not bourbon-like. But let's go with the taste. What the heck? Thank you, Buffalo Trace. You'll never see this on the tour over there. There is charred oak. There is vanilla. There is sugar water. I always say bourbon tastes like sugar water to me. And there's honeysuckle nectar. Medium body, dry finish. This tastes very similar to ancient age, <laughs> which is a Kentucky straight bourbon sour mash whiskey. Sour mash Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. They don't claim sour mash on here. But this might be the way they wanted to label it. They want to call it bourbon. Okay, that's what it is. Now, Buffalo Trace told me on the phone, we never, this is what she, she said, we never take the same bourbon and just relabel it. She said, each of our bourbons are a unique recipe. I said, okay, I was just asking. She seemed kind of put off by the question. But I was just, we always had this theory. A friend of mine, Paul, and I said, well, I wonder if they just take the same beer or liquor and they just rebrand it. 
put a different label and call it something else. He said, it seemed like it would make sense, you know, but um, they said, oh, no, 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 no. Now, now, yeah, I don't know how that would differentiate. Um, certainly tastes very similar to Ancient Age. Now, I, I wish I had my Ancient Age left. I still have Ancient Age 10 star, which is a three-year age, but it's 90 proof. It's, it's higher proof. <clears throat> and this does taste like the ancient ancient age 10 star just not you know as strong uh is this that that different from benchmark benchmark a three-year age 80 proof it doesn't really taste that different it even has some of that green wood like green wood that's not dried out all the way in cellar mold yeah i got this uh well actually when dixie had this so did a, a, another store, eighteen ninety nine, <laughs> for the handle. Not the dusted. I'm waiting to crack into this one. Uh, okay, so maybe they're all different recipes, but I think that uh, differences are minimal, to say the least. But honestly, does this taste bad? Is it's like bad? Do I taste this and think, oh, this is really bad bourbon. How could they get away with this? Why would they ever put this on the shelf? But, it, but then on the other hand, I can remember people always buying it. Like it's always in stock and it always seems to be moving. You never see a bottle with dust on it. I like that benchmark. I've been waiting for two years to crack into that. But like, I'm gonna do, I do keep my house dusted. Don't worry. I, but uh, They can't be buying it. They can't be going to Win Dixie and buying these handles. They only sell handles and thinking, "Oh, this is terrible. I can't wait to buy another bottle. It's so bad." You know, I'm not noticing that. They're playing in the. Those kids are playing in the yard and they play, but then they argue. Like you hear them fussing a lot. You know. It's a little burn, but it's pleasant. Um, hmm. A little nuttiness, like a pecan oil or walnut oil. I've said this many times with blended whiskey. It's definitely not a American blended whiskey. It makes no claim to that. Um, it's just bourbon, Psst. cut and dry. Um, score. I guess if you see a private label bourbon and it's got Frankfort, Kentucky, you're going to know where it's from. You know, you're going to know who makes it, especially if it says Wide World Importers, which is what is used for the Winn-Dixie brands. I've seen it in other places. If you see Legacy Distilling, the Founders Company, um, County Line Distillers, that's all Sazerac, Buffalo Trace aliases. If you see those, I, I think it's worth picking up because um, It's, it's okay. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if it's reject bourbon from their name brands that they're bottling. Uh, I, like I said, they claim and know it's a separate recipe. So maybe they went 1% higher with like say rye, 1% higher and lowered the corn 1%. See, they say, see, so it's different. They do that few uh, batches. They got enough for the year for Winn-Dixie and they move on to something else. That's probably what they're doing. Because they're all invariably three year aged and they're 80 proof. You know, that's always the same. So I'm thinking they're just going up, down, like little tweaks on the rye. Maybe wheat, malt barley, corn. Just just tweaking it a little bit here and there. Got it written down, you know, obviously on our computer database. It is really pleasant, honestly. I'm, the more I'm sipping on it, the more I'm liking it. So I think it's gonna. I think I think it's gonna do well in the taste challenges. Now you could argue why? Do, why would you even do the taste challenges? Most viewers can't get the stuff. They don't care. I get that, but then on the other hand, a lot of viewers can get it. A lot of the people watching this live in Louisiana and Florida, and a lot of them live in areas that are 
right across the state line from Louisiana. They might live in Texas and can drive like literally for five minutes and get it. Uh, or Arkansas for five minutes and buy it. Or even Mississippi, cross the bridge, go into the first, you know, Faraday, Louisiana, or wherever they got them, and, you know, buy it. So it's really not as extreme as it seems. So, uh, and these people come to Louisiana all the time for very other reasons. Uh, but, so they could definitely do that. So um, you probably have a one, two, three, four, five, at least a five state area that could conceivably get this. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with 92. It's A minus, not most excellent, but it is excellent. Um, I'm embarrassed to say that. It's like a, I want to, I feel more comfortable giving it a C, you know, like it's okay. I can tolerate it, you know, it's private label. I don't, I don't want to give it a high grade because then I'm, people are going to pick on me, you know, but, um, but honestly, it really does taste like a, an excellent product. So, Man, it just goes to show you, you never know what you're going to get, but you might find out if you get it and you try it. So, Lazy Lay Bon Tarmelé, an excellent product, 92 out of 100, hard to believe I'm saying that, 9.2 out of 10. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Frankfort, Kentucky, which I've done, and take a distillery tour, which is free, by the way.